Finding music for your videos can take forever. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you how to choose music quickly by creating a go-to library that you can pull from whenever you need music versus having to find it with each individual project that you have. I'm Amanda Horvath and I help eliminate the obstacles to getting you sitting where I'm sitting right now, in front of the camera, sharing your message with the world. So if you're ready to start that video show you've been dreaming of, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Artlist is by far my go-to music library online, so I'm going to be walking you through how to do this specifically in Artlist. If you do not already have Artlist, but you feel like it would be a valuable tool to add to your toolbox, then I have linked to my affiliate link in the description below, and if you use that link, you get two months free off your subscription. You are welcome, my friends. Now, in order to curate this go-to library, we are going to cover three steps, and the first one is to start by creating collections in Artlist. So when you're on the home page, you head over here to your library and you click on collections. Now I want you to think about what kind of videos do you need music for? On my channel, I create tutorials, vlogs, and promo videos, or in general in my business, I create these videos. So I'm going to create three different collections for those individual videos. Now it's a good practice to do this on a quarterly basis, and that way you can have all of the songs already done for you for the upcoming quarter, and what I'm going to suggest doing is to set a timer for however long you're willing to spend looking at music. So it could be 30 minutes, it could be one hour, whatever is best suited for you. You could do an entire day if you really wanted to, and we are going to add songs to these individual collections. But let's start by creating the collections themselves. So I'm going to call them Promo 2021 Q4, and then we'll copy this section here and create the other ones. Now, the reason that I create these three collections is because each of these different videos is going to have a different song that I'll be looking for. So for example, for tutorials, I like to have a nice even waveform. That way there's no massive music swelling in the background while I'm talking about something. And I like to find music that does not have emotion to it either, because typically if it's a tutorial, I'm not talking about anything emotional, so there's no need for sappy background music. Now on a vlog, on the other hand, there might be something happening that does have emotion. I'm trying to create excitement, suspense, anticipation, but at the same time, I'm also usually talking in those videos, so I don't wanna have something that is so hard hitting that it will distract from what I'm saying. Now, on the total flip side, a promo video, I do like to have hard hitting music that has lots of beats moving very quickly so that I can edit to the music and have things changing very quickly on screen and really keep up that energy. So let's dive in. Let me show you how I would go about browsing, which is step number two, your initial search. So what I'm going to say to start is go over to browse and you could go through these individual collections that Artlist has put together for you, but I have found it's kind of annoying because you can't filter those at all. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go down here to sort by newest, because if you're doing this on a consistent basis, you're going to get to know the songs that are on there. And then I'm also going to do instrumental only. This is a personal preference, but generally speaking, whenever you're creating videos that have words in them, you don't want vocals to compete with what you are saying. So we want to get rid of that. I like to choose a medium tempo, especially when I'm looking for vlog or tutorials, background music. If I am doing a promo, it might be high tempo because it's a faster beat. So we'll start with medium. And if you only want long clips, like long songs, then you could potentially ch change the duration and move this part up. I'm just gonna keep it as is for now and we're gonna start listening to these songs and I'll kind of chat through the process of why I would put it in different categories or how I would move through it. So I'll throw these headphones on and start listening. I like this one. This has a good beat to it. 
I feel like it's, it's definitely more of a vlog versus a tutorial. Although if I had like a high energy tutorial that I wanted to start off really high, I might open with that and then I would maybe go to something a little more subtle once I kind of get into the actual how to part of it. So it could potentially be either. So if that is the case, you can always add to both. I kind of feel like intuitively it's more vlog, but yeah, I'm gonna keep it just vlog for now. All right, let's keep going. This is definitely vlog material, possibly promo. Yeah, let's do both. Let's do vlog and promo. For promo, I usually like to see a little bit more variation in the waveform so that I can have different things happening at different times. Like some points have high energy, some points are more mellow, and then the beat drops again, but we'll put it in there for now. In a way, you're kind of, you're curating your library so that later you can go back and find the perfect song. So you don't have to be super particular while going through. You just wanna find ones that you really like. And as I'm going through this, I would love to hear, how do you approach finding your music? Are there any tips that you found that work really well in Artlist? So many people, so many creators are using Artlist. So if you have a specific genre that you love pulling music from, tell us what genre is that and what video are you using that for? Go ahead and drop that in the comment section below so that we can all help one another out. Also pretty masculine, but not bad. I always like when songs have that drop because it, it's really fun to edit to. So let's say promo. I think that's a, that's a good promo, possibly vlog too, we'll add it there. You can start to see kind of a pattern of how different artists approach their music. So like if, if you're really drawn to one artist, you can click on their name and see what else they have. So that's gonna be step three is kind of refining your search. So as you're moving through this, pay attention to like, what are the things that I am adding to these collections? Is it rock? Is it electronic? Is it hip hop? What artist is it? And that will kind of give you insight into the, the step three, which is gonna be really refining your search. But for now, we're still kind of going through it and getting the initial. So let's move on to another artist to kind of show you how much variance there can be. So we'll try this one. This one has a lot more cheese factor, in my opinion. It's a lot more feminine, for sure. But I'm not a massive fan. It could potentially be like, hey guys, we're going on a road trip. Let's do a montage, right? And that could be like the vlog of the montage kind of thing. This is a perfect example of a tutorial type song. It has a nice even pace, it's not overwhelming, and it doesn't necessarily have emotion to it. So I will definitely add that to my tutorial collection. All right, we'll do one more song here and then we'll refine the search a little bit more. I'll show you how you can do that. And then we will wrap this video up. We haven't heard a soul yet soul and R&B, so this is what this sounds like. This is why going through the, the newest will be good because you'll get a variety of different music examples that you can kind of pull from. So I love that for a tutorial sound uh, background music. So that might give me an idea for how to refine the search further. So let's, based, based on that, let's go search for more soul and R&B genre. So we'll click on soul, or we'll click on genre down over here and then go down to soul and R&B and that will refine our search. And we still have the newest instrumental and medium tempo. If we wanted to change this to high tempo, we could also see what's out there for high tempo. And look at this. Right away, I can see 
These are going to be a lot more even waveforms. And so this is probably going to be a lot of great tutorial type music. The cool thing about spending time doing this all in one sitting is you get into a flow with it versus just coming in, finding one song and disappearing. It's, it's just so much more efficient to do it this way. So I'm going to wrap the video here because I don't want to keep going on and on for you. But if this video is helpful, please be sure to click like and don't forget to give your suggestions of what genres stand out to you within Artlist so that we can all help one another out. So be sure to scroll the comments and check those out. Now, if you wanna dive into another video that goes even deeper on how to choose music with different video examples, then be sure to watch this video here and I'll see you in the next video.